it's Jen for the love of Iris and today I am going to start a series called Masculine Mania and I am going to do this card. Um, it's a different kind of fold. It's called a concertina fold and I got this idea from Splitco Stampers um, but it's basically just a, a kind of a pop-up card but it doesn't open um, so you'll have to do either an entire card base or just a piece of cardstock on the back to write on it. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me for masculine cards, so or masculine ideas, because um, we have several flowers and, and beautiful butterflies and lots of easy pattern papers and things like that for ladies, but we don't have a whole lot of ideas for boys, so I'm going to do this series. I don't know what it's going to consist of or how many episodes it will be, but um, just stay tuned for masculine madness. So, um... I am going to use the Going Going Global stamp set and the Going Places 6x6 DSP stack, which has wonderful papers in it for any person, but I'm going to use them for boys today. So you're going to need one sheet of cardstock, one full sheet, 8.5 by 11. We're going to cut it in half at 5.5. So we've got five and a half by eight and a half. We have two of those. Okay. Two five and a half by eight and a half. Now we're going to score. We're going to score at two and an eighth, four and a quarter. And then I'm going to flip it around and score it at two and an eighth because to score at six and three eighths for me, I don't have the scoring tool, um, is right here on the edge of my paper cutter. And it just is a little bit difficult. So I've found that if I score it two and an eighth, four and a quarter, and then flip it and do two and an eighth, I get the same outcome. I'm not sure if you can see the score lines or not. Um, but they are basically every two and an eighth. And you'll have end up with four panels. And you're going to do that on both pieces. So two and an eighth, four and a quarter, and, and flip it and two and an eighth, or if you are on your scoreboard, you would do it at six and three eighths. Okay, so you've got your two pieces here. Now we're going to cut, and this part is the part that seems to be, was the most confusing for me anyway, at, at first. You want to have your paper in your paper trimmer long side, and have the very last score line lined up in your groove. Can you see that? The very last score line is lined up in my groove. And then I want to have the point of the paper and the opposite end lined up at the two inch mark. So I've got my very last score line lined up in my groove, my corner at the two inches, and then I'm going to cut that. So I'm, at, I'm left with two pieces. This one we're not going to use. We're going to discard that. And we were left with this one here. And then we're going to do that again on this piece. Again on the long side, your, your last score mark is lined up in the groove and your point on the opposite, or not the opposite side, but the furthest from that score mark is at the two. And then you're going to cut. Again, discard this and save this. So you've got two pieces of the same cardstock now. Okay, now we're going to fold this mountain and valley style. And just use your, your bone folder to burnish the score lines. And Mountain and Valley is um, over, under, over, under. So you're just going to go the opposite direction every single time. And then you're left with two pieces that are opposite of each other and they kind of bounce up <laughs> like this. All right, so you have just now created the front part of your card, this bouncy part right here. So what you want to do is you want to get another piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to use Sahara sand again since I have it out. And I'll go ahead and let's see, this is what, five and a half? Yeah. So I'll go ahead and cut this at four and a quarter. 
and this is what I'm going to adhere my pieces to here. And then decorating it, you're just going to need two and an eighth, I believe, two and an eighth. Let me look. Two and an eighth inch strips of your patterned paper. Yeah. Yeah. Two and an eighth strips of patterned paper. And the thing that I found was the easiest. I've already pulled out. You're going to need four different pieces if you want to decorate it. Um, differently on each on each piece if you want them different then you'll need four pieces one two three and four so the thing I found was the easiest thing for me was to take my pieces of DSP and just cut them down to an an eighth so you're gonna need two pieces of each pattern because you're gonna need one for the right and one for the left so just cut down two and an eighth on both on all four of your pieces of DSP. So that's two of that one. This one I'm gonna have a little bit of blue. The last one I had some um, delightful Dijon, but I think I'm gonna pull in some Lost Lagoon or, I think this is Lost Lagoon. And I want my mountains to go this way. Two and an eighth, two and an eighth. I should have had these pre-cut, I'm sorry. Two and an eighth. Two and an eighth. Okay. And the easiest thing that I found to do was to lay my adhesive on the piece that I want to glue the paper down to. So I'm going to take my snail and just put some adhesive on the cardstock. And then I will lay down the paper onto that piece, flip it over grab my snips and trim off the excess because see you're going to get a little bit of excess here as well so then this way you just trim out your excess here and then this way you've got your first sheet of DSP and it's already ready um, let me go ahead and do one side of this. Now for this one, I want the blue to kind of stick up at the top. I don't know if you can see that there's different colors in this pattern paper, but I want the, um, the dark blue to be at the top. So when I adhere my paper down, I'm going to kind of offset it a little bit so that the blue is at the top. So what I'm going to do is lay down the line it up at the bottom so when I trim off the top there then I still have some of that blue there at the top and the the panels that you want to decorate are every other one so you want to decorate the first one on this side so let me show you you want this one you want this one you want this one and you want this one. So if you're looking at the paper folded out, it's two on one side and two on the other side. So it's one skip, one skip, and then on the other side it's two skip and four. So one and three on one side and then two and four on the other side and that will give you that layered look of the card. So that's that one, and then here's the next one. What do I want to do for the next one? Let's see. Um, where's my other papers? Here they are. How about this? Let's do this one for the next one. And then there's a trick if these don't actually line up perfectly, say they line up a little too much to fold, you can just fold it over and trim the excess on the on the other side like this one has a little bit of excess on there too so just fold your cardstock to the side that you need it to be so you can see the paper that's hung over a bit so go here like this okay and then trim this one all right and then you're going to need to trim your angle on that one too We're looking glorious. 
we've got that and then our last one is going to be our solid black piece and that one should fit perfectly width wise and you won't have to cut off any angles so just make sure if your pattern paper is directional you take that into consideration when you cut it oh, it doesn't fit perfectly width wise look at that you have to trim that off a little bit okay and then when you're through with this if you want to round the corners I rounded my corners Oh, I like that. I actually think I like that one better than I like the first one. Yeah, I really do. Okay, I'm going to grab my Project Life Corner Rounder and round these top corners here. This one, and then the top of this one, and then the top of this one here. So you've got your top corners rounded and your bottom corners are flat. Um, and then you will adhere it down you fold it you're going to adhere it down on the back part of this one so just put your adhesive here how much time we have 11 minutes I might can finish the other side so we can finish the card just to see okay let's try it why not right okay we'll do it quick throw our adhesive down on here Throw adhesive on here. Okay, this one goes on here. And then again, the blue mountains are going to be up top. So I'm going to make that one flush. Okay, let's trim off our extra here. And then our extra here. I should have had this done for you too. I'm sorry. Okay. And then let's do our paper here and here. Okay. This one is the black one. All right. And then this one is the blue one. Okay. Let's trim these off. And voila, as my upline friend, she says, voila. And we'll take our, whoops, maybe our corner rounder and round this corner here. And then we will glue this one down also right here, just opposite of that. Is that too long? Yeah, a little bit. My OCD is telling me that this paper is too long. And it's not going to match up. Okay, so we'll take some, take some snail here. You want to get a decent amount of, of snail, or or if you're going to use fast fuse, uh, anything like that, to adhere these down, just because you don't want it to to move or go anywhere. And then now you have your card. And on this one, if you just want to flip it over and write to whatever. To whoever the boy is that'd be great and then let's see I've already got these pulled out and stamped so if I want to show you how to do it uh, just to seal it up um, I was going to use a different sentiment but since this is already done and we are already at 13 almost 14 minutes I will show you how to do it all you're going to do is just throw some dimensionals on the back and it doesn't matter um, where you pick them because uh, it's gonna go across both pieces so you don't have to strategically place your dimensionals in any way shape form or fashion I'm using the crust of mine because I had another project and I had used up all the regular dimensionals so always use your dimensional crust you're wasting money if you don't okay so throw this down on here and then peel these off maybe <laughs> okay and stick this down and that's gonna close up your card that way all it does is just sit up and I think that sits up so much nicer just the flat back than it does the whole card because then see how this one flops out and open 
I don't really care for that. I think that's too much. So actually, I may even just cut that back off. But anyway, there you are, your masculine madness. For all those boys in your life, flip it over, write your lovely little sentiment and, and thank them for being wonderful to you. And um, hope you try this out. It's, it's not difficult. It's actually quite easy. Use up some of that pattern paper um, that you've been hoarding. Shh, I won't tell anyone. So hope you have a great day. Bye.